want to sing a song and then get okay and then then Turn me on.
<laughs> Evan, that's enough. Thank you. you
Amen. Hallelujah. Since you were talking about that a while ago, about not being able to believe something that you can't see. I can't see my wind and my breath. That's right. But I can't do without it. That's right. Amen. And it's the same way with Jesus. Hallelujah. I can't do without him. That's Holy right. God. I've got to have him in my heart and in my life and in my soul and my spirit. Yes. Hallelujah. And what I feel. Thank God. Nobody can take Woo, it away from me. That's Hallelujah. right. Hallelujah. I'm so glad to be a child of the King. Yes. So glad to be a part of the family of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you. If you got Jesus. your Bibles with me tonight, turn with me to St. Mark, chapter 4. I'd like to start in verse 30, I guess. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I'm not asking you, Lord, for, for much, <laughs> just for your presence. Yes, you know, Jesus. Feel. Asking you, God, to have your liberty, have your way, have your spirit in this house tonight. Lord, I don't care if there ain't but a handful of people here. I come to worship yes, you. Yes, Jesus. I come to worship you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I come to worship Yes, I didn't Lord. come to play church. I come to have church. Yes, Lord. And God, that's what I'm here for tonight. I ask you, Lord, that you would bless, that you would multiply it unto me, and Lord, that you would give me the words to speak, Lord, under your anointing, <coughs> under your authority, yes, and under Jesus. your power. In the Jesus' name, I plead that now. And, and uh, all I know is, is, oh, praise God. Thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Starting with verse 30 in chapter 4 of Mark. He said, and, and he said, Where to ye, or where shall we liken the kingdom of God? Or with what comparison shall we compare it? Hallelujah. This is 
the parable that's talking about the mustard seed, and this proclaims the manner in which Satan will endure, hallelujah, or will endeavor to corrupt the Word of God. Mm. He's always trying to corrupt the Word of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Always trying to mess with, just like they were asking you, how can you believe in something you can't see? Uh -huh. How can you not feel the presence of the Lord? <laughs> how can right. you not feel the thanks of God? <laughs> Hallelujah. When he's turning inside of you, glory to God. That's right. Hallelujah. When he's got that spirit of life inside of you, how in the world can you not say that he lives? That's because right. he lives inside of us. No, he lives him. inside of me. He lives inside of us. Glory to God. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 31 says, And it is like a grain of mustard seed, which when it is, is, is sown in the earth, is less than all the seeds that be in the earth. Yes, yes. And it's just a little bitty tiny seed. Matter of fact, I've got one in my billfold, even as we speak, uh -huh. that I put in there many, many years ago. And I'm still packing it. Glory to God. I still got it in here with all my other stuff I'm dropping in the floor. <laughs> <laughs> right there it is. That little yes, spot. That yes. little seed. Hallelujah. I've always kept that in here. For why? For me. Because if I ever get low on faith. Yes. If I ever get down on faith. Praise God. I can look at this and I can say. If I've just got that much. That's right. If I've just got that much. That's not much is it? It ain't much, but praise God. It don't take much to serve the Lord. That's right. It don't take much to endeavor in the power of God. Hallelujah. Don't take much. It just takes somebody that is willing to stand and be bold yes, before hallelujah. the Lord. Hallelujah. And to recognize that, praise God, the fire of the Holy Ghost <laughs> comes from Him. That's hallelujah. right. Not from this world, not from the things of this world, but it comes from the power oh, of God. God. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. The church will be, the church begin very small. And that's what this verse here was talking about. He said, it, and it's a, it said, it's like a grain of mustard seed, which when it is sown in the earth, it's less than all the seeds that be in the earth. Hallelujah. It starts out really small. And as you can well tell, the churches start out really small. But praise God. With the power and the, and the spirit of God invested in them, and the presence of the Lord that is in them, hallelujah, it'll grow and it'll mature, praise God. But it says in verse 32, he says, But when it is sown and grown up, it and becometh greater than all herbs, and, and shooteth out great branches, so that the fowls of the air may lodge under the shadow of it. Hallelujah. It blooms out so big. Yes. Blooms out so much that the birds and the, all those come in there and they begin to hover into it. They begin to rest into it. It becomes what? A resting place. place. That's Hallelujah. Place. It becomes a resting place. Yes. Not amen. just for the birds, but for all. Hallelujah. Yes. It becomes a resting place. <laughs> trying to break all my stuff over here in a pile. I'll pick it up after a while. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> it's a resting place for us. Hallelujah. And praise God. We've got to reach that resting place with God. Yes. We've got to reach that place that we're not always struggling. We're not always fighting. We're not always carrying on. But praise God, we're in the rim of grace and we're in the rim of the power of yes. the Spirit. Yes, hallelujah. And praise God, it becomes um, unto us like a natural. Hallelujah. 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 I don't know about you, but it's just natural to serve the Lord. It's just natural yes. to want to serve Him. It's just natural to want to be with Him. It's just natural to Hallelujah. want to feel Him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Let's jump on over to verse 35. And the same day, when the evening was come, He saith unto them, let us pass over to the other side. Hallelujah. Do what? Let us pass over to the other side. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Only with Christ can we make it to the other side. Amen. Only with Christ. That's right. That's the only way you can make it. Not on your good deeds. Hallelujah. Not on your good behavior, not That's on right. anything no. other than Hallelujah. with Christ. Hallelujah. Christ. That's right. But here's another thing that I want to throw in there. It's not in my notes, 
but I got it, and I'm feeling it here. If Jesus Christ is in your boat, how are you going under? That's right. Come on. How are we going under? If he's in your boat, mm -hmm. hallelujah. What are you talking about, brother? Go. I'm saying if he's in your boat, if he's in your spirit, if he's in your life, how are you going under? That's right. Come on. No. Hallelujah. We cannot be defeated. That's right. What the word says, we cannot be defeated. Hallelujah. Praise God. We've got to be victorious in the Lamb of God. We've got to know that, praise God, we have victory in our spirit. We yes. have victory in our soul. And there's nothing going to set us asunder. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And when he had, and when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. Think about this. So when he was very tired, when he was very tired, they took him into the ship. Talking about Jesus. They brought him on in the ship. Hallelujah. He grew tired just like us. Why? Because he was a human being. He was human just like we are. Uh -huh. he, had, he had time. You know, he was weary. He had just got through preaching to the multitude. He had just got through feeding the multitude. He had just got through taking care of all that stuff. You tell me, after you do a little something for the Lord, you're not tired and weary? Come on. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know you are. You get tired. You get weary. That's what Jesus did. Yes. He fed the multitude. He spread it. He blessed it. Told them to hand it out. Glory to God. And they handed it out everywhere that they went. Hallelujah. As they kept reaching in there. And the fish just kept coming out. And the bread just kept coming out. And they just kept coming out. Hallelujah. And when they got done, there was 12 baskets full of the fragments. Glory to God. Not Hallelujah. just enough, but more than enough. More than Hallelujah. Enough. Amen. More than enough had came out of that blessing that Jesus had supplied upon that shore. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So don't tell me he didn't have reason to be tired. Don't tell me he didn't have reason to be weary. Hallelujah. Even though he's the magnificent one. Even though he's the, 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 the leader of our flock. Hallelujah. Even though he's our magnificent prayer. Hallelujah. He is everything. He's our blessing. He's everything that we need. Praise be unto God. He still at that time got weary. Yes. Hallelujah. Because he was still in the flesh. He was still in our humanness. He was still there in our likeness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. He was very tired and he grew tired just like us. Others who wanted to be with him was what he was talking about and the other ships. The other ships that came along with him. Hallelujah. Why? Because they didn't want to miss nothing either. That's right. They didn't want to miss anything either. Wherever Jesus was going, they wanted to be near him. They wanted to be with him. They wanted to see what in the world was coming next. Yes. They wanted to see whatever was going on. Hallelujah. Praise God. I want you to hear this. He said, and there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full. Hallelujah. It may have been full. But it wasn't going under. Hello? <laughs> Come on. It may have been full, but it wasn't going under. Praise be unto God. Hear what I'm saying to you. This is what I'm trying to get at here tonight. This represents the spiritual sense of the storms of life, which we all have. Hallelujah. We all have these kind of storms. We all have these kind of situations that tries to overtake us and tries to, to overcome us. Hallelujah. I know within myself, you know, there's times I don't always feel like uppity, 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 uppity all the time. Fine. I'm not always up on my tiptoes and, and shouting and praising and going on like I maybe I should or whatever. But I'm not always like that. And that's whenever here comes the old devil. Yep, that's right. He comes running up to you and he starts knocking at your heart's door and he starts trying to tell you, hey, 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 hey. What, where's your God now? Come on. Where's this going on now? What's taking place now? And the Lord is still there in your midst. But who's missing? It's us. That's right. 
It's us. We're missing. Hallelujah. Because we're not in the right track and the right form of God. Hallelujah. But God is trying to get us to wake up and be real with him. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. And he was in the hinder part of the ship asleep on a pillow. And they and they awake him and said unto him, yeah, now this one here really, really put a stun on me. <laughs> Master, hearest thou not? <laughs> hearest thou not that we're perishing? Could you imagine going to Jesus and telling him that? <laughs> Do you care not that we're perishing? You're back here in the boat sleep. And we're up here perishing. We're going under. Mm -hmm. Our boat is full. We are about to go under. What did he do? Hallelujah. <laughs> and he, he, he said, man, he said, this means that the, despite the storms of life, they will reach the other shore. You are in the, the boat with Jesus. And knowing this, that he cannot perish, so neither shall you. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But yet, whenever he got up and he come to the front of the boat, and he spoke to the storm. I'm getting ahead of myself, I know, but bear with me. <laughs> Bless him, When he come to the front of the boat, and he, he spoke to the wind, and he said, Peace be still. still. Yes. Hallelujah. Peace be still. And, it, and the, some of the definitions of that said it meant hush. Yes. It meant to stop. Do not do this no more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's all he had to do was just say, peace be still. And when he said that, glory to God, uh, the wind so ceased. Woo. Hallelujah. And he turned around to his disciples and he said, we're where did your faith go? Mm -hmm. Where did all yours this faith go? You invited me into the ship. That's right. You asked me to come with you, and I was weary and I was tired, so I wasn't up here taking care of business. But I was tired and I was weary and I was trying to get some rest. But yet, ye of little faith, yeah, ye of little faith, couldn't even speak to the wind and the storm and tell it to stop. That's right. Come on. Hallelujah. He was scolding them, getting on to them. Because why? He said, all these things that you have seen me do, even greater things shall ye shall do. do. That's right. Because I send you the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. That's why he was trying to scold them, trying to wake them up, trying to get them to realize, hey, 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 it's me. I'm with you. Mm -hmm. And if I ain't going under, you ain't going, going under. under and if we ain't going under, then why are we having all this bit and all this junk going on in our boat? Glory to God. Stop what you're doing. Mm. Yes. Lord, get out of here and leave this alone. Yes. Hallelujah. Blessing Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You begin to speak to him. I believe they had a great awakening. <laughs> Amen, brother. Because if you remember, they turned around one to another and they said, what manner of man is this? Mm -hmm. This is the one they just see feed the multitude. This is the one they just see bless the bread. This is the one they just see bless the fish. This is the one that they just see feed over 5,000 plus the women and children. This is the one they just see do all these things, but yet they could not believe that he was man enough to speak to the storm and even the wind and the rain had to obey. Get your hands in there, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I know I've done one way ahead of myself. Hallelujah. Man, it just, once you get the ship rolling, you just can't quit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And he arose. Verse 39, and he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are ye so faithful, so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? How is it that 
ye have no faith. He told them, he said, and in verse 40, when he said, and he said unto them, why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? They had accepted Christ, but not his power or his authority. You get that? To this, or to or his authority to this job. They couldn't believe the power and the authority that he had. So they were so confused and so bound, so re restricted. And so many people, so many people today, when they come in through the door and they, they come and they commit their life to Christ, they commit their life to Christ one minute, and then whenever they walk out these doors, <laughs> they run upon a storm of life, they run upon a storm of problems, and they begin to bicker, and they begin to complain, and they begin to do like these people did, they begin to lose their faith. They begin to lose their faith in what they just accepted. Right. There's not an anchor there to hold them. Hallelujah. What are you saying, Brother Gal? I'm saying so much. We that's why we need to pray. That's why we need to pray and seek God. That's why do we need to pray and seek the face of God. Because without Him, no matter whether you're having a storm or not, without Him, glory to God, we will fail. Without Him, we will falter. Without him, we will we will come loose. Hallelujah. But praise God, with him, we can stand the storm. That's right. We can stand the storms of life. We can stand the storms of this, this place. Hallelujah. And be victorious in the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse 41 says, And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, what manner of man is this? Even the wind and the sea. <laughs> they obey him. Hallelujah. What manner of man is this? I can tell you what manner he is. Hallelujah. The king of kings. The lord of lords. <laughs> the magnificent one. Glory yes, to God. Hallelujah. He's everything. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Then their fear turned into the power of Jesus. Hallelujah. And they were right. The wind and the sea did obey him, and so does everything else. Hallelujah. Not just the wind and the sea, but everything obeys him. That's right. Hallelujah. So why should we fear? That's a big question. Why should we fear whenever a problem is coming our way? Why should we fear whenever something is coming after us? Hallelujah. I, I, I tell you what, I've learned that if the devil ain't after you, then you better check where you're at. That's right. That Hallelujah. is right. If the devil ain't coming after you, <laughs> then evidently you ain't doing nothing to offend him. That's right. Hallelujah. But if he is coming after you, then you need to be thankful. You need to be praising God. Yes, you need hallelujah. to be delivering unto him what is his. Hallelujah. And you need to be saying, oh, thank you, Jesus. Praise God. I'm stirring up the old demon. I'm stirring up the old devil. And I'm going to walk the walk. I'm going to talk the talk. Hallelujah. I'm going to do what you want me to do. Praise oh, be unto God. Jesus. I'm going to let this ship sail on. That's right. Hallelujah. You are looking... <coughs> You are looking for peace. Then look for their way maker, Jesus. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. If he can calm the storms of the sea, no, he can calm your storms of life. Yes. No matter what you're facing, know this. He's got your answer. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Just trust him. Please. Hallelujah. In Romans. Romans chapter 10. Hallelujah. I got so many markers here in a minute here. I'll find him here in a minute. Bless him, Lord. Romans chapter 10. 
Verse 9 says, That if thou wilt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and, the, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Hallelujah. Do what? He said, that if thou shalt confess in thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First John. Sure I got this one more. <laughs> Who knows? First John four four, Hallelujah. First John four and four says, "Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is He." <laughs> yes. Greater is He that is in you than He that is in the world. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do what? Greater. Yes. Greater is He. That is in you. Oh, Hallelujah. Well, oh, Brother Gal, I, 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 I don't deserve. Mm -hmm. I don't deserve all this goodness and all this mercy and all Jesus. this that. Nobody said you did. <laughs> but God says, I give. Yes. Freely, I give. Hallelujah. Freely, I give. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than in this, in this world. Yes, Lord Hallelujah. Jesus. And in verse 9 it says, And in, in this was manifested the love of God toward us, because that God sent his only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through him. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. That we what? That we might live through him. What does that mean? That means we can rejoice and be glad because my God, hallelujah, my God has blessed. My God has made a way. My God has made a way. <coughs> hallelujah. Not because of my goodness, not because of my mercy, That's but right. because he loves me. Hallelujah. That's what it's all about. And I hope that you love him. Glory to God. Because he is the merciful God. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. He is our everything. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. My God will make a way. That's right. My God will make a way. For who? For me? Yeah, for all of us. That's right. For all of us. Yes. For all of us that want to believe. All of us that want to succeed. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You see, it, it's so nice. I've never yet seen Jesus grab me by the ear and make me do something. That's right. Come on. I've never seen him do you that way either. Mm -mm. I never will. Because my God don't do that. That's right. Hallelujah. He tries to lead you like a lamb. That's right. He tries to lead you with his gentle hand, with his gentle direction. Hallelujah. And you know, I, I, I remember reading in here, and whenever a lamb would get out of place, and a lamb would get too disruptive and wouldn't listen, I remember one of the shepherds breaking their leg. Ooh. He broke the leg of the lamb. And you hear me, I, I've seen this, and I've read this in here. He broke the lamb's leg, put a split on it, throwed him up over his shoulders, and he packed him the rest of the way. Yes, yes. Why? Because he could not listen. Because he would not obey. What are you saying, Brother Gary? You saying God's going to break our leg? I hope not. Right. <laughs> right. But don't get surprised. Hello. I'm telling you, he means well, and that's what this shepherd meant yes. well. It was either he break this sheep's leg, 
Or this sheep was going to get himself destroyed, get himself killed, yes. going to get himself gone, you know, gone and done with. So he decided a broken leg was better than all that. Right. And I remember reading that, sure as the world in here, in this book. I can't really place you right to it right this minute. But I remember reading it. And that shepherd done that. He broke that sheep's leg, but yet he carried it the rest of the way. That's yes. how much love he had for That's that right. sheep. That's how much love, my gosh, God for you and me. He's got so much love for us. He's willing to carry us. That's right. Hallelujah. All brought together, he's never carried me. <laughs> You're full of baloney. That's right. I'm sorry. But it's real. You're yes. full of baloney. He ain't ever carried you. He, he's carried you more than you can even imagine. That's right. That's what I like about the footprints and the sand. He said, but there's only one set of footprints. That's when I carried you. He said, that's when I was carrying you. <laughs> yes. Woo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's when I was carrying you. Yes. That's why there's only one set of footprints. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Yeah, it seems so hard for us to, to see and to believe sometimes, it seems like. But yet he is. He is the way maker. Yes, he is. He is the deliverer. Hallelujah. And I was thinking so much about, about him being asleep in the back of that boat. <laughs> he wasn't worried about the water. That's right. He wasn't worried about the things that was going on in there. He wasn't worried about any of that. But praise God. <laughs> Praise God. When they woke him up, he just came up and took care of his. Hallelujah. Yes. Went right straight Thank to the Jesus. problem. Hallelujah. You get what I'm saying? He went right straight <clears throat> to the problem. Yes. He didn't stand there and quiz him about all this stuff before he done that, did he? He first, he went to the problem and he spoke to the problem and he took care of it. He settled <laughs> it right then and there. Yes. And then he turned to them. Then he turned to them. <laughs> and he asked them, where did your faith go? Uh -huh. Where did you lose it? Because I have showed you, I have placed in you this power and this presence. Hallelujah. Where has it went to? Mm -hmm. Where have you lost it? Hallelujah. I want you to know tonight, he wants you to realize he still loves you. That's right. He still loves you with all all, all things considering and everything going on, he still loves you. Amen. Just enough. Just enough. Hallelujah. To make a way for you. Hallelujah. As much, as much, I'm so glad that it was him instead of me. That's right. <laughs> because I know myself. <laughs> I know how my feelings are. Mm -hmm. And I might have been a little on the angry side. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Hear me. I might have been a little on the angry side with them because after all as I'd showed them, I blessed the food, I fed the multitude, I had them together in the ship, and I told them <coughs> we're going to the other side. I didn't say if the storm kept us from it. Right. I didn't say if we hit them. A boast of wind. I didn't say if we hit a boast of storm. I didn't say that. I said we're going to the other, the other side. side. Hallelujah. Yes. And praise God. Whenever you say something like that and it's of a truth, there should be no question to it. Amen. And do you not know that whenever he says something to us, it's definitely of a truth. It's of a truth. Hallelujah. Because he wouldn't do it no other way. Hallelujah. It's of a truth that he does that for us. Hallelujah. My God. Father, right now, in Jesus' name, I ask this Lord to all, all of us, Lord, check our spirit, check our lives. Hallelujah. And Lord, humble ourselves before you. Thanking you, Lord, for all that you've done. Thanking you, Lord, for opening our door of life. For thanking you, Lord, for presenting yourself with us. Helping us through our storms. Helping us through our problems. Helping us through our situations. Lord, ain't nothing that you don't help us with. We give you thanks. We give you glory. And we give you honor today. In Jesus' mighty name.
Amen. Amen.